Today I want to talk about moving averages, but I want to talk about them in a way that maybe you're not used to. I want to talk specifically about moving averages as pivot levels. Here is a chart of SPY. As you can see during this period, every time that SPY got up to this 50 day moving average, what always happened is it bounced off it, uh, especially recently. We can see that when we got over to here, SPY got down to the moving average, bounced off it. Here, it bounced off it. Here, it went through for one day and the very next day bounced off it. Now, this is a very, very common scenario where moving averages act as support, especially longer term moving averages like the 50 day or the 200 day. Now, in this case, they're acting as support and there are times when they can act as resistance. Now, I also want to look at another stock here. This is Amazon. As you can see here in Amazon, we see a little bit of that too, but when sometimes it'll go down below the moving average and it'll act as resistance and then support and then resistance, and it kind of goes back and forth and sticks around pretty close to it until we see that just a few weeks ago in this example, Amazon dropped down and it crossed significantly on above average volume through that moving average and then crossed down through the 200 day moving average and now the 200 day moving average is acting as support when there is a very strong cross down through a moving average it can go from support which it was here to resistance and then when it goes through this even stronger 200 day moving average it has been acting as resistance and uh, this candle might be able to change that and we'll see how that plays out going forward. I'm Dan Passarelli. I hope that's helpful. Trade well. <laughs>